instructions for an Ansonia mantle striking clock without any self-correcting system. Uh, first thing we do, open up our case obviously, and wind the clock up. The big springs, in this particular instance, your time side winds inwards or anti-clockwise, and the strike side winds clockwise. So you wind up the springs until they come up tight. Now, the pendulum hangs on a hook, which you'll feel if you just very gently put your fingers in underneath the dial here, just short distance up underneath the dial. There's a wee hook, and this pendulum hooks onto that. Right, just like that. Now once the pendulum's hooked on, to get the clock running, just give the pendulum a wee tap. Now, the thing to, to note here is how to set your hands. Um, now, we need to know this sort of thing because if you go away on holiday, the actual time side will run several hours longer than the strike side because the time does less physical work than the strike side of the clock. So what we first have to ascertain is whether the clock is going to be striking half past or the hour. So we bring it up to half past. Okay, so, the, so actually the clock mechanism is telling us it's 12 o'clock. So the first thing we need to do is synchronise the half pass strike. So we go through the hour to half past. So that's one, so it's now telling us it's half past. Then we go up to the hour. Which would make it one for one o'clock, we hope, but we'll check that. Half past one. Okay, it's telling us it's two o'clock. Now what we do is the hour hand here is friction fitted to its centre shaft. And it's friction fitted to the centre shaft so you can actually physically turn the hand like that. These are designed that way. In modern clocks, if you do that, you're likely to break some wheels. But in these instances, these are designed so you can actually synchronise your hands. Now our hands are telling us it's 2 o'clock and our mechanism is telling us it's 2 o'clock. So at the moment we've actually got 10 to 11 in the morning. So what we'll have to do to syn synchronise all our hands is go through each half hour and let the clock actually do its full strike. Etc, etc until you bring it up to time. And once it's on time if you pendulum up or you push and it's away and laughing. Now with a clock like this you can turn your hands backwards between your five your, or you can turn your hands backwards between essentially the 20 past, 25 past and, and backwards or conversely this area here. Never turn your hands backwards through the hour or the half hour. Uh, you'll start damaging levers. Okay. Any other problems, just call us, timepieces NZ.